Hello, this is Sule from Pomona, California, Zone 10A. Today is March 12, 2020, and today I will be planting these evening primrose seeds that a good friend uh, from YouTube, Sheer Inspirations, sent to me. Now, um, as you're aware, if you have been following my channel, I do love the Jiffy Peat Pellets. So I will be using those to plant these seeds. Now, she did send me a ton of seeds for the evening primrose. And I am so grateful for that. First, because I know she harvested from her garden. Um, and second, because if for whatever reason, these don't come up, or they get damaged with the heat here, I am able to replant them since I have extra, extra seeds. Now, the seeds that she sent me look absolutely fabulous and healthy. They're dark, um, so they do look viable, um, but the heat here has messed with some of my seedlings. So I'm going to be adding, instead of adding just one seed to each Jiffy Pea pellet, I'm going to be adding a couple of seeds in each one. Normally, when I plant my seeds, I add just one to two seeds, and then I will go ahead and thin out the one that I don't want, but in this case, because they are so tiny, um, I want to ensure that I put in a couple of little seeds in the Jiffy Pea pellets so that I have more chances of them coming up. And again, if the weather messes with them, I do have extra seeds to replant them. Now, I am going to go ahead and just make sure to cover the little seeds. I will go ahead and pat down um, the Jiffy Pea pellet mix so that the seed has great contact. I did moisten the uh, Jiffy Pea pellets before, so I am not going to be watering them again. And this is the first time I am growing the evening primrose in my garden. Um, so definitely I am going to be labeling, uh, making sure that it has the name of the seed, the person that sent it to me, and the date that I planted the seeds. Well, I hope these come up for me and I can show you when they are blooming. It's going to be so pretty. Well, I'll keep you guys posted. Take care. Today is March 30th, 2020, and check this out, guys. We already have little seedlings popping up. Aren't they looking fabulous? Like each single one has little seedlings popping up and they're looking fabulous. All right. I Today is April 16, 2020. And I wanted to show you that it looks like all the seeds I planted came up. So the seeds were very, very viable. So this weekend or in a couple of days, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to separate them and try to put them individually so that they're not bunched up like that. I'm going to try to put them in their own little pots. So I'll bring you guys once I'm ready to do that in a couple of days. Today is April 22nd, 2020, and this is how our prim, evening primrose is looking. And today I'm going to be transplanting most of these since they're all crowded in here in the little Jiffy Pea pellets. I'm going to be transplanting them into a somewhat bigger um, area for them. I already took one um, to try to separate it and normally what I do is I take off most of the Jiffy pellet off and then I'll grab them by the little um, leaves and then I'll wiggle them in water so that the Jiffy peat um, comes off the roots. Alright, so let's go ahead and go look at the other one that I already took from here and I already have in water ready to show you how i'm going to be adding them in another uh, bigger area than what they are in now with the jiffy pellets because they're all crowded
All right, after jiggling them in the water, this is what they look like, the Jiffy Pit Pellet. The Jiffy Pit Pellet stuff is off them. Hope you can see that. So now I'm going to try to carefully remove them with the roots. Okay, so here is one. Hope you can see that. Here's one. One was already coming off by itself. Here's a baby, baby one. All right, let me get this done and I'll bring you back once I have them all separated. All right guys, so I did go ahead and separate them. Hopefully you can see that they have been separated. All right, so I have this container um, with some of the soil. I'm reusing some of my soil because when they're babies like this, um i just use soil that i already had on hand and i'm going to be picking the best looking ones or the biggest looking ones and i think my first one i'm going to plant is going to be this one and when you grab them you want to grab them very very delicately you don't want the roots to pop out Okay, you don't want those roots popping out. They're very delicate roots and you don't want them to die because you mess with the roots too much. So usually I grab them from the top. I bring in my container and I think we're going to pop them in this first one. And then we're lightly, lightly going to press on the soil. Okay, so I'm going to just add a little bit more soil here. And press lightly. All right, so we have our first one transplanted. I'm going to get the other ones done and I will bring you back once they're all in this, once they're back in, once they are all in this cell tray. All right guys, so we did go ahead and transplant all the ones that we separated. Hopefully you can see that they're looking pretty and I am going to water them but I'm not going to water them from the top. I'm going to put this tray in some water so that it can absorb the water from the bottom. And that's how she rolled for now. I'll keep you guys posted for sure. Today is May 10, 2020. Happy Mother's Day to every beautiful mother out there. And today I will be transferring two of the evening primrose from Sheer, Sheer Inspirations. I'm gonna be 
transplanting two of the evening primrose from sheer inspirations um, the seeds that she sent me now this is the first time i've ever grown um, evening primrose but i wanted to document based on the information that i received uh, to see if it does great for me and then that way i have record of what i did and what worked or what i did and didn't work so i am keeping record because of that and i'm bringing you guys along so i'm going to be transplanting these two from the ones that i have growing i think these are the ones that are looking the best so i've already squished the bottom so it's easier for me to take them out i'm going to gently pick them up and look at how pretty this little seedling looks it's absolutely beautiful and check those roots out man this is a healthy little seedling this leaf died but it's fine so let's go ahead and transplant it and then in a couple of weeks i'll be transplanting it in my garden for its forever home let's see maybe i have to dig a bigger hole here And I can't wait to see these little flowers growing in my garden because I have uh, research and they look so pretty and Sheer has information as well. And I'll go ahead and link her channel in the description box below. She has a lot of information. I have mentioned her before in my channel, but in case you missed that mention, Go ahead and check her out she's an amazing lady and she has a lot a lot a lot of great information all right so here they are and there's water here because i just watered the little seedlings in this on this table all right so they're looking beautiful i'm not going to water them because like i said there's water here and they will wick it up from the bottom and get to the top so yeah i'll go ahead and keep you guys posted but for now but for now they are looking absolutely beautiful today is june 21st 2020 and today we are going to be planting these two beauties up which they are the evening primrose and they have a little damage because they should be already planted and i just haven't had time um if you follow my channel you know i got sick with the covid so i haven't been tending to my seedlings or my garden in general and so now that i'm feeling better i am going to be planting these two up since they are absolutely ready for the ground let's go all right, so the evening primrose. So this one, I've decided to use one of the buckets because I heard that it does get big, the plant gets big. So I'm gonna use a five gallon bucket for one. And then for another one, I'm gonna have to use a smaller bucket as one of the buckets I need for my peppers, for one of my pepper plants, but yeah let me plant the best looking one and or maybe this one i'll plant it right there because that one looks a little bit damaged so i want to give it the best chance possible so first we're going to go ahead and dig up our hole not very hard just make a little hole okay and then next we're going to add Okay, and next we're going to add a little bit of tomato, general tomato fertilizer, and a little bit of rock dust, and a little bit of Epsom salt. This fertilize, tomato fertilizer, Epsom salt, and rock dust or azomite 
Um, that one I'm adding because I already had a mix of that that I use for my peppers, tomatoes um, in the planting hole. I don't think it will hurt it. On the contrary, I think it will help it. So that's why I added that. Let's go ahead and take our plant out and see what it is looking like in this tiny little pot. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this one hand. Ah, can't do it. Let me take it out. All right, so I took out the plant from the little pot and the roots look amazing and it looks like it was starting to get root bound you see how the roots are going around as they were around in the pot all right so let's go ahead and plant it And then to give it an additional boost, we're going to add a little bit of that mix on top. All right, not too much, just a little bit so it has food on the surface as well. And then what I do is just mix it in. Oops. All right, for the second one, I found this pot. It's pretty deep, so I'm thinking it'll be happy in here. And this is our second one, looking fabulous. All I'm gonna do is just water them in and then I'll bring you guys back and give you an update. Today is August 3rd, 2020, and it seems that we are about to have our very first bloom for this evening primrose plant. There's more right there. That is the first one looking awesome. And then the second one, I don't know what happened to it. It's looking pretty sad and it's being eaten by something. I'm not sure. So that one's a goner but this one is looking very nice and pretty oh i just noticed it has another shoot here all right i'll keep you guys posted today is july 6 2020 and you guys we already have our blooms for this evening primrose is they are just so so pretty check that out the yellow is so vibrant and beautiful and this one i think we missed it just closed and this one i think we missed it just closed and it has a bud here and it has a spent flower here that i think i missed um because it's done already but yeah, this is the evening primrose. I had never grown it and it looks absolutely beautiful. And I think it's a definite keeper for the garden. Well, if you have stayed up to this part of the video, thank you so much uh, for staying and watching the evening primrose progress from seed to bloom. And well, guys, that's it from Little Beans Garden. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And as always, take care. So pretty.